Um, and this is an example of when people will do anything for clout. Bonzo, I need your I need your POV on this. All right, so there's a rapper named Kid Trunks. He was a pretty popular rapper for a minute with a little buzz. Um, the buzz started to fizzle. Uh, Kid Trunks, within the past year, announced that he had cancer, uh, got a lot of support, etc. Uh, then less than a month ago, he went on IG after he got shot. He had big bloody gauze, open wound, the whole nine. Well, he just came out today, just before the show started at six, and admitted that he lied about both. In his own words, he was clout chasing. He lied about having cancer and getting shot for clout, Lonzo. Talk to me. Well, welcome to welcome to the new millennium, Doc. Welcome to the new millennium. We talked about um your boy um out of Florida getting shot and saying how happy he was. He tried to Kodak. catch a hot one. Kodak Black. And uh who's that? Tune in. Kodak Black. Kodak Black, right. Kodak Black, he uh, disclosed on his on his Instagram, finally caught a hot one, okay? Like, he was just, oh, my God, I want a trophy. I got a plaque. I got recognized for being stupid. Um, this is the generation that we're in, man, because the, ooh, I'm about to get, I'm, I'm, they're going to blast me on this one, but fuck, they got to take, uh, take it like a man. They need it, man. Okay? Um, the level of talent. But, oh, I'm sorry. People have talent. But they're in such a rush to be recognized. They won't hone their talents. They'll just find some type of way, some type of antic, some type of stunt to pull to get recognition. And this is a perfect example of it. I've said it over and over again on this show many a time in the past that most, a lot of artists who don't have the skills, who won't take time to develop the skills, resort to other, other ways of getting attention to hopefully get some likes, views, shares, and whatever comments, whatever the case may be. You need more hugs than thugs, <laughs> okay? These thugs need hugs. And that's basically what it is. When somebody gives you a thumbs up or a comment, that's just a, a digital hug, okay? And these folks, they desire that shit. Maybe, maybe they wasn't hugging up as babies. They didn't get enough attaboys when they were kids, but they... For some reason, so many of them, not all of them, not all of them, they refuse to take time to learn an instrument, perfect the rap style. Um, they, they try to make music that is rushed. And it, and because uh, one of the reasons, because so 50,000 songs a day get, get uploaded to Spotify and various platforms, you, 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 you're just another needle in the haystack, dude. So you have to come up with, with different ways to try and garner attention and getting shot is always a good way of getting attention. But, you know, you lied about your cancer and lied about getting shot for attention. Dude, now you got attention for lying about getting attention. Okay? You got attention for lying about how to get attention. So when you see that kind of stuff, man, it just it just makes it makes it difficult to um, to take people serious. You see guys doing things all the time, and it makes no sense. And this is a perfect example of people just trying to be something that they're not. They clout chasing, whatever reason they got to have it. They got to have the attention, dude. Yeah, man. And now I, and I understand why people going back to the Will Smith. Smith, Chris Rock thing. I understand now why people are skeptical when they see stuff on TV because of <laughs> shit like this. You know, Unknown said something earlier. We were, we were debating as usual. He said, what if Chris Rock and Will Smith uh, planned this? We got everybody's attention now. And they go on one of these major shows, Oprah, Gail King, or whoever the case may be, and said we staged that whole event to bring attention to the people, I think of Somalia, that's starving. There's like two million people starving right now in the African country. Huh. Okay, but nobody talks about that. Everybody talks about Will Smith. Everybody talk, was talking about um, uh, Ukraine. They're not talking about the black folks down there on the board. I think of Somalia, man. I, I forgot what country he said it was. Yeah, I'm sure it's Somalia. Yeah, for sure. 
it, it's people are literally starving it's to death the poorest country in 2022. Like in the world. I think it's like the poorest right. country in the world or some shit. Okay. Poorest country in the world. And we did that to bring attention to this situation. We're going to ask everybody to give us $5 so we can send down to Somalia to buy some rice, food, whatever the case may be. Um, what if that was the case? Okay. Uh, this would be a great platform for something like that. I don't think it is. But again, if they do that from now on, Every time somebody do something stupid, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have a doubt about yep. where what what the uh, what the legitimacy of it is, and is there an ulterior motive for their actions? So you know you know we living in the year the, the time of Photoshop, cut and paste, um, everything you say gets twisted. No matter what you say, they got to spin for it, and it just it's real hard. He it was it's real hard. To believe your ears and eyes, even though you can you can see something, but you don't know how good the editor is on the video and the audio to make you think you thought, saw something that didn't really happen. And not to mention the the uh, the um, the CG nowadays, man. CG is so damn good; it's ridiculous. Man, Lonzo, they shooting the whole movies on green screen and draw everything else behind it. There ain't nothing there when they shoot that shit. Avatar was shot on the whole green screen and what not one thing what you saw on the screen. Man, okay. dude. You know what? Let me break let me let me tell you something on a side note, kind of on the same topic though. Uh, my wife likes to look at things online, you know, clothes and stuff to buy, right? And she shows me stuff from time out. Hey, how does it how do you think this looks? You know, you think I look good in this? Of course, maybe you look great. When they the women that are posing for each with their clothes on Lonzo. Their waists are so thin, like they have, you could tell they're all Photoshop. No natural woman could have a, a, a waist like this. And that's why a lot of women are so messed up right now, because they're looking at this literally fake body. And, and they're like, that's what I need to be. And it's scary, dude. I tell you something even crazier than that, dude. I was in the Slauson Swap meet two weeks ago. I hadn't been in the Slauson Swap meet in years. I had some time to kill. I was looking for something. I'm looking for a hat. I bought it another swap meet. I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna walk to Slauson to see if they got some more of these hats. And I saw these mannequins. I saw this ass on this mannequin. Mannequin had ass like a son of a gun, man. And I, I was telling a friend of mine, look at this mannequin's ass. I ain't never seen an ass this perfect. No, on nobody in life. Okay. I saw this. And then a few minutes later, I saw another mannequin. That was a full figure mannequin that was perfectly full figured. I like full figure girls. I'm like, God damn, you, the, the pressure that is placed upon women to, to, to meet the um, modified standards of beauty, okay? The modified standards, because the natural standards are not the same as the modified standards, okay? When you see women wearing these, I call them eye wigs now. I, these eye weaves, call them lashes. These big ass eye weaves looking like paintbrushes. I'm like, come on, baby. You know, goddamn well, in a hundred years, your eye, your eyelids, your eyelashes will not be that big. You wear them goddamn eye weaves and shit, and wonder why some. And, but you want a real man. The okay? worst is the worst is when you see the glue, just a little bit of glue right behind you, like yeah, glue. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we between that, uh, padded bras. Padded draws and weaves and eye weave. Come on, man. You don't know what you're getting no more. And it's like you're living in a whole world of fantasy because ain't nothing real. But but I tell you what, that same made up, patched together, uh, attached woman, Barbie doll, wants a real man. <laughs> How the hell you gonna give me a real a real man when you ain't you're not even a real woman? You just um a bunch of parts put together. I was yep. hanging out. I was hanging out sat Sunday, man. I went to this thing called the Black uh, Black on the Block. It was downtown LA. It's usually held in Pasadena and outside outskirts of different side towns. And somebody turned me on to it. It was Sunday, downtown LA in the Art District. And a few things happened while I was down there. One, I realized I was the oldest son bitch on the building in, in the property, but it was a huge swap meet of black vendors. I was highly impressed as a black man because to see all these youngsters, these creatives selling their t-shirts, their various 
juices and food and shirts and whatever else they came up with, facial creams, hair creams, uh, whatever they were doing, they were doing their thing, okay? And I didn't see the modern-day gangbanger, okay? I didn't see the modern-day gangbanger. I felt very comfortable because I didn't see anybody that made me uncomfortable because I have a great detector for bullshit. I detect bullshit in a heartbeat, okay? And what I, what I did see was hair down the sister's ankles. I did see um, what I knew was some fake asses. I did see a lot of fake boobs and a lot of eye weaves, okay? And it's like, yeah, you know, some things I guess I got to get used to. I'm, I'm, I'm from a different generation. So when I see certain things, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Guys wearing slacks and, ten and tennis shoes, they got me doing it now. But it took me a long time. Get, took me a long time to get used to that. Okay. Like, Dude, why are you in a, a tuxedo and chucks? Oh shit, that's y'all style. Okay. I would have never went to the students. I would have never went to the, the prom wearing tennis shoes, but because tennis shoes have become a fashion statement, you know. Now I'm old because I got hard sole shoes in my in my wardrobe. And but but this event. Was such a dope event, man. I don't know who produces it. Uh, Thank got, you, Isaiah, for looking out, Isaiah. Oh, I had my eyes closed. What happened? Oh, no, Isaiah got uh, it. Oh, much love, it. Isaiah. Good looking out, Doc. Thank you, Doc. We appreciate it. So, yeah, man, it, it was a great event. And I, I, if anybody knows anything about the soul, Black on the Block, uh, it was one of the dopest events I've been to a long time. They had these three big, uh, three big domes full of vendors. Each dome like big giant ass igloos, big giant ass igloos had different themes in each one of them. One was like a big nightclub with vendors selling shirts and clothes and hats and blah, blah, blah. Another one was a real chilled vibe, not a neon, look like some, something you see at Disneyland. It was kind of, it was very dope, folks. Anyway, I had to share that with y'all, man, that. just on the strength, just on the strength. Because this, um, it's, I see some, I see a lot of change and some of it is to the good, but it's, it's just funny how some of the change you see is not a natural change. That's what I'm saying. Mm. I see a lot of people, I see I see a generation of change, but you know, it's, it's especially it's for artificial. the females. It's, it's so plastic. It's artificial. Man. A lot, a, lot, a lot of the females are still stuck on, I gotta have we hair down to my butt, knowing that ain't your hair. I gotta have eyelash, eyelashes looking like, looking like paint brushes. I ain't never heard two brothers say, oh man, she'd be fine as hell. She has some longer eyelashes. We don't care. Ever ladies. in my life. We ever. don't care. Oh, those shoes are nice. What, what the bottom of them look like? I don't yeah. care if they got a red bottom or not. Thank you, bro. I don't care. God. Women okay. do for other women. They don't do that for me. Thank you. Thank you. All I want to know is when I, when I put your legs up in the air, what the bottom of your feet look like. <laughs> okay. All I want to know, I want to know is how you look when I wake up with you in the morning. You know, OG, right. and all that stuff. Right. Okay. You mess around and wake up in the morning, they don't even recognize a person. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> Who are you? And why'd you get how'd you get in my house? <laughs> but yeah, Doc, I mean, this is some of the things that I'm I'm observing from my from my my vantage my vantage point. Um being a little older, seeing multiple generations from the party. I mean, I've been in the party scene for quite some time, Doc. I've been watched five, four, five generations evolve through the party scene, and now I see the party scene is going digital. Uh, it's a lot different than what I'm used to. People really don't dance no more. They kind of gyrate and do more twerking. And um, it's, you know, it's different. It's different. They'll, they'll, they'll figure it out. 